All right, folks. I'm gonna do a room tour here. At the Sandals La Source Grenada. We uh, visited starting November 18th or so, basically that Thanksgiving week in 2018. We booked a BR, B as in boy, R as in room. That's a beachfront room in the Pink Gin. We were assigned, as you can see here, room 1320 which is on the uh, third floor. We're next to a 1319, and I'll show you a view outside uh, shortly here. So we're gonna do a walk around, and you can kind of get a sense of this um, very nice room. So here you're entering again, room 1320, and this is coming in. This is what you'll first kind of see. Got a uh, king bed there. We'll get into that in a second. I do see a room fan, and there's a bar on the right here. That's pretty much it. And the far over to the right there is a deck and I'll show you that shortly as well. Okay, turning around here, not to make you too dizzy, but looking back, this is where we entered and here is the closet. Um, you can see it in the reviews, it was kind of a little bit on the small side, um, but good enough for two people. They do have a, uh, a safe here, very simple to operate. That's really nice because pretty much in an all-inclusive, all you'd really need is your room card. So we got all the valuables in there, passports, documents, all the good stuff, driver's licenses, so you don't have to worry about it, iPads, you can see that um, in the closet here. All right, moving over to the bathroom. Really nice bathroom for a, a kind of entry-level room into this resort. You can see, got a double towel rack, very nice. Um, really cool, you know, all glass shower. Just a quick pan to the top there. You can see that there's really two shower heads. I've never really had one of those top rains. It's really actually really nice. You know, one sink. I don't mind sharing a bathroom with my wife, but you know, it's big enough if you uh, both want to get ready for dinner and those types of things. And then a bathroom that works really well. Actually, the toilet paper is really much better than what you find at your kind of standard hotel. I stayed at a lot of Hilton's. Uh, and those type of things. So it's really, uh, really kind of nice. It's a little small once you close that door, uh, but it really kind of works out. It's a great bathroom. So I'll just kind of back out here so you can get a sense. They give you plenty of towels uh, to go around, which is really nice. Uh, the other thing I just would show you too, the ladies probably love this nice little mirror here. And then for the guys, you can kind of see right there. All right, so continuing on here, you can see again, here's the king bed. I'll swing around here. Some people do gripe about this. I think they it used to just be a window, as you can see, and you can kind of see right into the shower, but they obviously added, added a door there that, uh, that you can swing back and forth, so it's really nice. Actually, again, I found the bed to be super comfortable. I don't know much about the sheets, but my wife tells me these are great thread count sheets, and they seem to replace them every day, which I really find surprising, given the resources to do that. But basically get fresh sheets every day. Just give you an idea here. What you're looking at but it's a really nice bed nice bed frame found it super comfortable panning around here tv which we haven't used yet um but it seems like they do have some american channels this is really cool stuff here so you go into here they stock your fridge even at an entry level it's not stocked yet for the day but we, basically they'll give you waters a uh, bottle of white the, the red's up on the shelf there you know a couple beers and some drinks and they uh they stock they stock those all the time so that's great to really have that. And just give you another view of the, the bar there. They also have coffee uh, that they provide as well. All right, moving over here. You can see basically kind of great two nightstands. It's the second one there. Nice little desk. Unfortunately, I had to do a little work down here as you can kind of see. And then I'm heading out into uh, to the deck here. So kind of two chairs, a little small, but a great little sitting area. We're not really ones to be in the room for too long, so this is just about perfect. This here was a little surprising. I'll have to uh, show you another video where I'll do a front of the whole Pink Gin Beach uh, where you can kind of see. But I feel like we got a little bit robbed here. Got a little overgrown, but I have a feeling this might be one of the worst rooms. Um, still an ocean view, but obviously obstructed. But there's definitely rooms here when you see that other video that if you get a little bit more lucky or request a little bit different building, uh, you could probably get a better view. So this is a little bit of a surprise, but nothing that we really uh, complain too much about. And just one last shot here, guys. I'll show you the room. And again, people do talk about the lighting. Um, it definitely, when the clouds come in, 
Uh, you don't have the other lights on. They also have these things, which are uh, kind of privacy shades, uh, open and close. When they get closed, it gets a little bit dark. Again, this was an older building uh, that they obviously refurbished. Um, but I didn't find the light too prohibitive, but it can get a little dark in here. Again, we don't spend a lot of time in the room. Um, but overall, really nice room for, uh, for being beachfront and ocean view and uh, basically a quick walk. So again, I'll look to us Look for my other video where I will show you the whole front end of the Pink Gin and you can kind of get a sense uh, by looking at the map if you're studying this resort. But overall, great room and we'll talk to you later.